We're here at the Eagles training facility today, and I'm meeting Cam and Lane. NFL lineman average, six foot five, 300 plus pounds. And I'm gonna see if I can eat what they consume in an entire day in less than 10 minutes. It's 10 a.m. and I'm at the NovaCare complex. NFL lineman can be six foot five, 300 pounds. And I don't know if you know this, but they eat a lot. My goal is to eat what they eat in a full day in less than 10 minutes. I'm Dan Killer Kennedy. I'm a professional competitive eater. I hold many world records, like 48 McChickens in one sitting, 160 chicken nuggets in five and a half minutes, and 50 McDonald's cheeseburgers in less than an hour. That's a, that's a lot of food to consume in one day. I don't recommend it, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. How's it going, guys? Good. Dan, how are you? What's going on? Lane, Lane how are you? Nice to meet you. You too, sir. Ready for this challenge? I'm ready for it. Uh, very eager to see this. I was expecting Dan to be a much bigger dude. <laughs> For the challenge today, we have four meals. This is typically what I eat every day. Five to 6,000 calories a day, give or take. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. All right, that wow. Whoa. Good, Five scrambled eggs, whole avocado, three sausage links, two 12 ounce ribeyes with a sweet potato on one, a baked potato for another. We have two yogurts, two protein shakes at around 940 calories, two orange juices, and we have a bowl of monster mash, which is ground beef, white rice, and bone broth with like some Parmesan garlic salt on it. Why do we do that? Because we have to be in a weight range. And if you're out, outside of your weight range, uh, you get fined 800 pounds. So that's the why. Um, I don't know how he's going to do this in 10 minutes. I, I thought it was going to be 30 from when we first talked. So hats off to them. So here we go. In three, two, one, go. About the strategy you and me first here. Uh, reminds me of the movie The Gray when uh, one of the victims got attacked by the wolves and uh, was getting savagely eaten. That's what uh, the feeding style kind of reminds me of. Very impressive. Uh, I tend to do the same thing when I'm um, trying to put on a bunch of weight. I tend to chew my food very, uh, not, not a whole lot, and then I chug it down with the orange juice. So uh, this is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. I like the meat first. <laughs> this is impressive. This is faster than Landon eats. <laughs> <laughs> People in the cafeteria cook this up? Yeah, I believe Charles did. Charles is our uh, culinary expert on steaks, so he's usually there cooking up the ribeyes on the on the uh, wood fire grill every day. This looks great. <laughs> yeah, do you have a similar diet? Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, my diet's pretty similar. Uh, I love steak. I love anything like beef and then stuff that just tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> like rice is easy to eat, digest well, and like like what Lane's saying, like you want to eat stuff that makes your body feel good. I'm speechless. I've never seen the avocados go down that fast. <laughs> that is insane. <coughs> what do you guys think his stomach must look like? I bet he uh, probably chugged about two gallons of water this morning to get his stomach nice and stretched out. That's what I've read about some of these guys doing this. I don't know if this is true or not. But it kind of reminds me of the scene off of Major Pain whenever he sits down with his uh, girl and he uh, eats all his food and he says, ain't you going to eat? So. Hey, it is, it is just under eight minutes right now. He is flying. I mean, when we work out every day and you're doing so much in the heat and everything, like it's insane. I'll lose 10 pounds of like water weight and then how many calories we burn through in practice. Shakes here are huge. You know, you try to eat food that tastes good that you can get down. And then beyond that, it's like whatever you can drink to get calories in and, and stay up. So two minutes and 15 seconds in, he's got, uh, you know, two thirds of this thing done. What do you guys think on the Eagles could eat the most food in one city? I've seen Jordan Malata put down some food. And by the way Landon looks sometimes, uh, he's put down some food. Hey, have you done competitions similar to this? No, he just eats like this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> and she just casually says, uh, I get, I, I'm assuming the meat, too, I'm assuming the meat doesn't bloat you as much as what breads or pastas do. Yeah. Gets you as full. I've heard that it takes your body like 10 minutes to realize how much food it's ate. Is, is this true? Mm. Very true. That's why you're going so quick. I can't. What does your uh, look like, sir? <laughs> exactly like this, just out the other end. Okay. Does it go out as fast as it comes in? Sometimes faster. <laughs> We're at five minutes, 50 seconds. And uh, I mean, this is... What do you think about mixing some yogurt? 
in oh, the monster no. mash. Oh, good. Hell no. Did that work? I like your, I like your thought process. This looks more like what my, my buddy Nick eats. I've never seen anything like this. That's why I'm staring at him. Yeah, there's no slowing down. I definitely go for I the just, strategy I, just, I discovered of, a new species. <laughs> I feel like you got to eat as much as you can, then whatever you can't, like, get down, you're full, then you start drinking your uh, shake. You could have given him a bib or an apron or something. <laughs> At what age did you start competitive eating? 34. It's been doing it for six years? Six or seven, yeah, like 33, 34. Uh, the money. You never pay say. for a meal. Have you done the Amarillo Steak Challenge? Yes. No. no. I feel like you could tackle that pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. So we're at four minutes right now. Uh, and we've how's the food taste? Yeah, we've been talking to him too. <laughs> so you've been doing this competitive eating. You've lost 200 pounds since the last six years. How does that work? Losing weight and doing competitive well, eating. He eats like one every once every. I never days. started competitive eating until after I lost the weight. Oh really? Yep. Actually, I celebrated a weight loss with a food challenge. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got we got three and a half minutes left, and he has half a shake to go. That's what I'm seeing. And done. Three sixteen left. Austin three sixteen says I just whooped this meal. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. I, I wasn't expecting him to open up with the veracity that he, that he had on the steak. One of the coolest things I've seen. Scary, but cool. <laughs> that was very impressive. Like, how, how do you feel right now? Pretty good. I, I would say it's probably about six, seven pounds. So, and I can eat over 20, so I'm still feeling pretty good. That's insane. You guys want to go get a cheesesteak? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Dan. You finished the Lyman Challenge. Uh, one of the most impressive things that I've seen. So Thank we you. got you a little gift. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Lane were great. Six foot five, 300 pounds next to me. I felt like an ant, not gonna lie. My strategy was at first I kind of scanned the food, took a look over, made a plan, just like the Philadelphia Eagles do to win the game. Started with the meats, got those down, being the most complicated food, and cruised on from there. I like the meat first. <laughs> this is impressive. Yeah, there's no slowing down. It had the full daily diet, it had ribeyes, it had potatoes, it had the mash, which was absolutely delicious, and it had some protein shakes that I have to just get the recipe for. I was about a minute and a half in, and I was like, yeah, I definitely probably should have doubled this, but uh, could definitely eat like a lineman. No way I could play like one. Like, subscribe, and share. What do you guys think? Fascinating? Disgusting? Appalled? 